Hi, I'm Micah, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm going to be speaking with Michael Michelle Harris, who plays Ariel in Disney Channel's new upcoming animated series, Ariel. Michael Michelle Harris is an actress best known for playing Alice Baxter on Raven's Home, Santa Monica Johnson on Mixed Dish, and Luna in Cheaper by the Dozen. Today, we are talking about her newest role on Ariel, which releases on June 27, 2024. Thank you so much for talking with me today. The movie The Little Mermaid and its lead character, Ariel, is so well known. How'd you make sure your personality shined through when you voice acted this character? Absolutely. So like you said, there have been so many incredible people who have played this role and, you know, made this character their own. And of course, voicing this character comes with a a bit of pressure because I have to like be up there with them and like, you know, I have to be able to be compared to these incredible people who voiced uh, or played in the feature films. And um, I feel like what I really did was studied their characters and studied how they made it their own. And I took some of those um, different aspects of their Ariel and then I put my own little spit on things. Um, but also, we've never seen Ariel this young. She is eight years old and we have never seen this much into her daily life. We have never seen um, this much of Atlantico, never explored this much into it. And so I feel like um, I definitely had a bit of freedom to kind of make it my own, make it new, make it different, um, because this is new. This is different. Um, it's a it's a new lens on how we look at Ariel and her life. That was an amazing answer. And Thank when you. I was watching you as Ariel, I'm just thinking to myself, she's so lively. Like, this is just so much fun Thank to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course. This series introduces so many characters and has so many different engaging interactions. So what can you tell us about your relationships with your castmates in the show? Well, um, I did not actually meet my castmates until earlier today, uh, actually. Um, I only met them virtually, but we do not record together in the same studio. So um, I didn't get to like hear what they were saying while they were recording it. But I did get to see the first and second episodes and their voices um, and their demeanors that they brought into this character are just so good. And it comes together so well with um, the colors and the music and everything else of this show. It just makes it such a well-rounded show. Definitely. And you just spoke about the music in this show. There are so many catchy songs in Ariel. What has been the most challenging part about learning and performing so much music? Ooh, I think one of the most challenging parts is the notes, right? So with um, voice acting, really, for me, it's like the lines, make sure I, making sure I remember all these lines and, you know, all of that type of um, memorization stuff. But um, with singing, I have to make sure that I'm getting the right key. Sometimes they might pitch it up or pitch it down um, as a last minute decision in the studio just to make it more aerial sounding. Um, Or, you know, they might change a line. There might be a riff that I forgot to learn or didn't uh, hear while I was listening. Um, And so I think that's one of the hardest parts because, well, my mom is a singer, so she really helps me through it. Um, But for me, that's one of the hardest parts because I have to, like, memorize all these different notes and variations and riffs and things, like, sometimes on the spot. But I absolutely love singing the songs and the songs in general. The songs are so good. Yes, they are. I actually caught myself rewinding and singing along to them when I was fortunate enough to see the first two episodes. And... There has been so much talk about diversity in the entertainment business, especially with the 2023 Little Mermaid remake, having an African-American woman, Halle Bailey, play Ariel. What does it mean to you to be a face of change in the industry? I am so blessed and so excited that I um, get to play this diverse character um, because there are a lot of children who look up on the screen um, of the, they look up on our TV screen and don't get to see someone who looks like them, who represents them, who they can relate to. And that's a lot of times why we watch television, to be able to relate to a character or to be able to escape from whatever you're dealing with or you're feeling right now and just go into this mystical world. And I feel like there is so much diversity and inclusion in Ariel. Um, 
uh, matched with the fact that the um world of Atlantica is just so beautiful and breathtaking that there are so many opportunities for children and adults sometimes to yeah. look at the show and just escape from whatever they're dealing with right now and just, you know, watch and, and stare in amazement at this beautiful show. Yes, definitely. I love that answer. And I'm looking up to you all, looking at you through the screen, but I actually look up to you and it's amazing to see you, you. Um, grow so much in this character. And I can't wait to see the rest of the series. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you for talking with me today. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much to Michael Michelle Harris, the voice of Ariel on Disney Channel's new animated series, Ariel. You can find Ariel on Disney Junior on June 27, 2024, and on Disney Plus on June 28, 2024. So make sure you check it out. I'm Michael reporting for Kids First. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our latest entertainment news from me and my amazing teammates. See you next time.